news starts right now. Right now, 530 Operation Cold Case. 17 years ago, a man was shot and killed at an apartment complex. And still today, his killer remains on the run. Authorities are hoping someone could come forward with information to finally solve this case. Local 10's Laren Livingston is joining us. He's live in Southwest Miami Dade with the details. Laren. Christy, not just authorities, but of course the family members of this man who was shot here 17 years ago today. There have been a number of flyers. This is just the latest one for Luis Leon Jr. And his mom, who was here today, says he was gunned down right there on those steps 17 years ago today. But she says it's never too late to come forward with information. 17 years later, knocking on doors, hoping it'll open the door to some leads. Everybody is broken. The hole is still here. I felt the hole before I got the call. There's somebody, something had to happen to my child, ready? Tracy Brown says her son, Louis Leon Jr. was gunned down, shot in the back. It happened around 10.30 at night on a Tuesday back in 2007. The name of the complex has since changed to Malibu Gardens, but the night Louis was shot, it was called the Villages of Naranja off Southwest 268th Street. All of this time, you should have a heart by now. You should feel some kind of way by now. 17 years, the guilt ought to set in. You ought to be able to tell me who killed my child. Detectives say at the time of the shooting, a witness reported seeing at least one person run off on foot. Detectives believe two to three people were involved. Do you see anything or you know anything or you hear anything? Give us a call. They were back at the complex this afternoon, along with the victim's loved ones, passing out flyers, hoping all these years later, this cold case can be solved. People do reach out to us sometimes 20, 30, 40 years later, and it does allow us to investigate that case in a whole different way than the detectives had back then. It's just a hard pill to swallow. It's something, you know, you never get over, but you learn to live with it. But it hurts every day, and now I got to deal with this the rest of my life. The rest of my life. She says she'll be here year after year if that's what it takes. She says, interestingly enough, this is therapeutic for her. It gives her sanity knowing that she's hoping and working toward getting justice for her son and her family. If you have any information, you're encouraged to contact Miami-Dade. You can call anonymously 305-471-TIPS, of course, is the Crime Stoppers tip line number. We're live here in Southwest Miami-Dade. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.